Hey everyone, Viking back. Today we're going to be looking at a little shmup that just got released from East Asia Soft called Ninpo Blast. And basically, here we're going through the upgrades, what you can use the gears to unlock if you want to take a look on the screen. There's a, it's kind of a rogue element where you play and then you can unlock stuff in the upgrades um, thing. But this game is actually developed by East Asia Soft instead of just published. And uh, take a listen to the soundtrack, pay attention to the music, to this kind of the flutes and stuff. Elizide, who does a lot of music for Panda Indie Studio games, did the soundtrack for this, so you know it's going to be good. He does some of the best soundtracks for these shooters, in my opinion, so that's a plus already for this game. So this is my early game run, so um, I don't have much unlocked. I think this is my actually my very, like, my second run. So you can see uh, we're fighting bugs. You're a little ninja on a hover bike, like a jet moto thing. And you got various insect enemies that were taken down. And this game is very much in the vein of a game by Panda Indie Studio called Void Gore, where it is a high score chaser. And that's about it. Um, the, I do like the art style, um, but it is... Um, how do I say this? It's good, but... You know, look at the backgrounds. You have to play on this background infinitely until you unlock more backgrounds because it's a wave based. So, see, I cleared wave two. You just keep going and keep going, and then you do a wave and fight a boss, and do a wave and fight a boss. And it gets harder as you go, and you're gonna die. And then you're going to have to use the gears that, if you can see the gears pop out of some of the enemies, you're going to have to use the gears to upgrade your ship and make it better. And I'm not really a fan of that. I like to have, you know, at least uh, some, somewhat of an arsenal um, from the start. And then I like to unlock things that don't affect gameplay. Because you got to do a lot of grinding to get your ship up to how it's supposed to be, I think. Um, but, I mean, the controls handle great. Like I said, East Asia Soft developed this. They didn't just publish it, so that's kind of cool that for them to do, you know, actually make a game. Um, a guy named Kudo uh, programmed it, and Elizide did the music. So, um, music and and sound effects, I got no problem with. They 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 stand out. They're good. I mean, just listen to the tracks in the background. It's good. Um, yeah, I don't like grinding to get my ship powerful, but it doesn't take all that long to do it. I played this. I got the platinum. Um, I played it for probably about four hours straight, and I I unlocked everything. So. It doesn't take you too long. Here's one of the bosses. There's also unlockable bosses. So, so basically you have a spread shot, a shuriken spread shot, and a kunai single shot like you see right here. And the single shot is more powerful. And instead of a bomb attack, you have a katana attack. So those are what, you have three things you can do. So this is my first run ship is weak and now we're going to get into my 100% completion run and that's where the game really starts to shine in my opinion. So here I am 100% of everything as you can see and we'll get into a run and you'll see how different it looks as far as my ship powers and my guns and all that. So here we go. Look at that. Look how many more shots you get. And they're at full power and they just melt everything. Now this is great because now is the game is in full force. 
and you can go for chasing your high scores. And let me tell you, I was having a lot more fun with this, with with everything maxed out than you than I was at the beginning. Um, so as you can see here, every time you kill and uh, kill an enemy, your little multiplier score multiplier goes up. You have a little bit of time in between to like, but you got to string your kills together. And uh, an easy way to get your hit multiplier up is if there's a lot of enemies on the screen, use your katana attack, the bomb, and you'll shoot up to like nine. I've noticed so. I've just been trying to get a high score. We'll show you at the end of the round. I'm on the leaderboards, and uh, hopefully I can get a little higher. But, yeah. I'd say overall this is a good game. It's five bucks. Um, you know, of course, in a couple months, if you can get it on sale, then that's even better. But, um, I'm into these East Asia soft shooters, so... I have a lot of fun with them, and I like the retro stylings and stuff, but like I said, this is reminiscent of uh, a Void Gore, kind of the wave-based, high-score chasing shoot 'em up and I think that Void Gore is better uh, than this, but this is still good. So, I don't know, after I you know, get a good high score and get... Um, like I said, I got the platinum already. Uh, it didn't take too long, about three, three hours, four hours, once you max everything out. Um, yeah, I like it. I wish there would have been, you know, there's like six bosses, uh, six different backgrounds. As you can see, the background changes once you unlock the backgrounds. Uh, you can set everything at random. So you can have a random hover bike. There's like five different hover bikes that you can pick. Uh, random background, random bosses and stuff. So, yeah, and it just keeps getting tough as nails, harder and harder until you die, and then you get a high score. Not much else to say about this game. I do feel like I'm using a good strategy in this run, so if you... Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm stringing, trying to string that multiplier up, and then I'm using the katana to, uh, you know, kill all the enemies on the screen and blah 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 when my multiplier's up at nine. Um, but yeah, so now that I, th I think that this game's worth playing, I think it's a good, um, a good fun shooter. I had solid time. You know, for five bucks, I definitely got five bucks worth of fun out of it for sure. Um, I just wish it was a little more fleshed out and maybe had a little more options. But, you know, that's kind of the, the gist of this. But I definitely think this is worth five bucks. It's fun. I like the little ninja jet bike thing. Like right here use the katana, look at all those points, and that you get the gears. Getting the gears also helps your score. Um, you get points for getting the gears, so even though I have everything unlocked and I don't need the gears as currency, they give you points, which is nice. So yeah, so that's Nimpo Blaster, Jet Bike Ninjas fighting insects, soundtrack by Elizide developed by Panda Indie, which, you know, they usually just publish these and don't actually develop them, so I do uh, give them props for that. It's a fun little game. So, that's my review. Let me know what you think of this game, and if you uh, have played it and like it, uh, and we'll see you in the next one. At the end of the run here, uh, or if you fast forward to the end of the video, uh, you can check out the leaderboard and see where I got on this run. I'll talk to y'all later, leaving it off here. Viking out of here. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Take care of yourselves.